work and happiness. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Farm Channel, your social marketing communication platform dedicated for food, agri, and rural development. Farm Channel you may pa ye kasa elephant nyani kujuma any enkuku man puntu no esuni me mo akwa bebiu. On today's episode, Farm Channel takes you through maize production technologies. Some maize production technologies are in the day of 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 the of agri extension services of the of food and agriculture of the day 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 of the Site selection. Maize grows best in deep and well-drained loamy soils, but can be cultivated nearly anywhere in Ghana. Sandy, gravelly, and shallow soils should be avoided whenever possible. Land preparation. The method of land preparation depends on the cropping history of the field. On land that has been followed for two years or more, Practice traditional land clearing techniques common in each agroecology. On land which was cropped the previous year, slash with a cutlass to ground level and plant directly into the resulting mulch. Farmers with access to tractors or bullocks can plow and harrow their fells before planting. Roundup or glyphosate could also be used to control weeds during land preparation. Choosing a variety. Plant recommended variety for higher yields. Currently, the most popular of the recommended varieties are Obatampa, which is an open pollinated variety with a maturity period of 105 days. We also have Mamaba, which is a hybrid and has a maturity period of 105 days. There is Okomasa which is a full season variety and has a maturity period of 120 days. Abelehi, which has a maturity period of 105 days. Doke SR, it has a maturity period of 95 days, while Doji has a maturity period of 80 days. Planting. Planting periods are based on the establishment of the rains in each agroecological zone. The recommended planting calendar is as follows. Major season. In the forest areas, the planting period is between end of March to early May. And the recommended varieties are Obatampa, Okomasa and Mamaba. The transitional areas, the planting periods are between end of March to early April. The recommended varieties are Mamaba, Okomasa, and Obatampa. In the coastal savanna, the planting period is between end of March to mid May. The recommended varieties are Mamaba and Okomasa. In the Guinea Savanna Agroecological Zone, the planting period is between mid May to end of June. And the recommended varieties are Mamaba, Okomasa, and Obatampa. Minor season. In the forest agroecology, the planting period is between early August to early September. And the recommended varieties are Obatampa and Mamaba. In the transitional area, the planting period is between early August to early September. The recommended varieties are Obatampa and Mamaba. In the coastal savanna, the planting period is between mid-July to mid-August. And the recommended varieties are Mamaba, Obatampa, Doke SR, and Doji. Germination test. Obtain certified 
Macy's from recommended seed dealers. Count 100 seeds from the seed pack. Make shallow trench of about 1 to 2 meters long and 5 centimeters deep. Sow seeds in trench. Make sure that seeds are well spread out. Cover with soil. Sprinkle water on the sown seeds. Germination will occur in about four days. Count the number of seedlings that emerged seven days after sowing. The table shows the number of seeds to plant based on the results of the germination test. When emerged seedlings count between 85 to 100, you plant two seeds per hill. Where the emerged seedlings are between 70 to 84, you plant three seeds per hill. When the number of emerged seedlings are between 50 to 70, you plant four seeds per hill, or you get a better seed. When the immersed seedlings are between zero to 50, you discard the seed and obtain new seeds. Food. How to plant? Food. Plant in rows using appropriate planting tools, okay, such as cutlass, debla, planters, at a recommended planting distance of 80 centimeters between rows and 40 centimeters within rows for medium maturing varieties such as Obatampa. Planting depth should be between 5 to 7 centimeters. Foliar fertilizer application. It has been realized that maize foliar fertilizers in combination with solid fertilizers such as MPK, sulfate of ammonia or urea could increase maize yields. Steps for the use of both solid and liquid fertilizers to increase maize yields are as follows. First week after planting, apply two bags, that is 100 kilograms of NPK 15-15-15 per acre on continuously cropped land. Fetch four grams of NPK Make a hole of about 5 cm from the base of plants. Put the fertilizer into the hole and cover with soil. Second week after planting, apply 250 ml maize tartar foliar fertilizer per acre. That is to say 50 ml per 15 liters knapsack. Open the knapsack sprayer. Half fill the knapsack with clean water. Measure and pour 50 milliliters maize tartar folia fertilizer into knapsack sprayer. Close knapsack sprayer and shake thoroughly. Yeah, okay, okay. Open it again. Open and top up the contents with water to the 15 liter mark. Pop, 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 pop. 